What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Libra zodiac signs. Libra, let's see what's going on with you for the weekend. I'll do some more energy readings when I get home tomorrow evening. But let's see what's going on with Libra. Overall energy for Libra for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hope y'all have an amazing weekend. Libra energy, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, please. Whoa. All right, Libra. You have number 18, tree, let them go. And number 14, which is thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve. Ooh, just here. And I'm, I may not show all the cards because they be age restricting my videos now. So, And then nostalgia, which is focus on the here and now. So Libra, this weekend, Spirit wants you to focus on the present moments, not the past, okay? Anything that needs to be let go of, let it go, especially people that no longer serve your higher good here. Only surround yourself by people that are willing to fix your crown. You see what I'm saying? People that are equal reciprocity with you, people that are uh, trying to help you out, lift you up, you know, that type of energy. Surround yourself around those people, okay? When they see your crown sliding to the side, if they reach up and fix it, you know, those are the people you need to surround yourself by this weekend. What's the... Tree, let them go for Libra. Let them go for Libra. There is something that has ran its course. We have clock, the butterfly, and not enough. Libra, there's something that has ran its course, okay? It may take some time to heal from that because you have the clock card here. Um, but I feel like this here is allowing your inner child to grow, okay? You could be going through some sort of transformation here with the butterfly card. And it's because whatever this connection was that you were in, um, you were either frustrated in this relationship. It could have caused a lot of jealousy. Um, there could have been a lot of self-sabotage in this connection. You know, there could have been ego issues, things like that, a battle of egos. So I feel like whatever this is, it's a connection that needs to be ended, either letting the past go, letting the relationship go, letting the person go, something like that, okay? Because something has run its course here so that you can have a new beginning. What about the thorns for Libra, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? We have sunglasses, hands of cards, and talking. So there is somebody that's watching you, possibly stalking you here. Some of y'all need to, you know, take a step back and look at things from a different angle with the sunglasses cards. Um, there is something that's going on where somebody ha either has options who they can surround themselves around, or maybe you need to take a chance or a risk on something, maybe taking a leap towards other people, Um there is somebody not really showing their hand or showing what their intentions in some sort of way. So just be cautious of that. And then talking. Somebody wants to speak to you, talk to you. I see some conversations with people that that are, again, are around you, kind of like trying to uplift you and encourage you in some sort of way this weekend. Bottom of the deck is mask. Not showing true feelings, high personified, pretend, to lose gaslighting. Watch out for anybody trying to gaslight you this weekend too, Libra. Somebody that's hiding their emotions, not being upfront with you. Just be careful of that. There could be, um, be careful of uh, fake people around you too. Libra. Watch who you tell all your business to with that talking card. There may be somebody you can't really trust. Uh, what's that tree? Let them go for Libra. Six of Wands. Tree, let them go for Libra this weekend. Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck is Queen of Pentacles. Make sure you're loving on yourself this weekend, Libra. Focus on, on yourself. Maybe focusing on your home, your children, that type of energy here. I do see you being successful with releasing this or releasing the cycle or whatever this transformation is that you're going through here. Um, some of y'all are about to have a lot of options when it comes to like love or a lot of people are going to be recognizing you here. Um, some of y'all are stuck in like a an illusion that something is going to work out or that something will get better because it's really not. Or that somebody's going to make something better. But I feel like somebody's letting something or someone go. They're releasing it. They feel like it's uh, somebody's in an illusion. <laughs> Somebody is in an illusion here. I see somebody maybe smoking or drinking this weekend too. 
there is some sort of wish fulfillment in a situation, but um, I don't I don't feel like it's going to turn out that way. Some, if you're trying to let something or someone go, I do see success in that. I do. And I see lots of choices, lots of options, you know, lots of possibilities, opportunities here. Some of y'all need to pick and choose your battles this weekend, too. Again, focusing on yourself will be really good. Focusing on your house, maybe, you know, with this Queen of Pentacles here, maybe, you know, focus on cleaning up around the house, you know. What's the thorn part? Again, I see lots of communication. Some of y'all may even travel, maybe go visit somebody. Be careful speeding this weekend. What's thorns for Libra? That's the Eight of Wands there. What's the thorns for Libra? I do see some love messages coming in. This doesn't have to be like another lover. This could just be like loving support as well from like family, friends, Three of Pentacles, people that want to work with you, collaborate with you, that want to help build with you here. Bottom of the deck is the magician. Yeah, these are this is good. So if say y'all going through a breakup, right? You're letting something go. You feel like you know is you feel like you need to open up to more options, more people. You know, you feel like whatever this is, it's an illusion that you're going to have success in this connection or this relationship, this job, whatever this is, right? So I see you letting it go. I see you letting it burn, letting the tower kind of come to a fall, and then you're actually going to have victory. You know, you're going to recover the, from this. You're going to be recognized from this. You're going to be you know supported throughout this as well. I see you surrounded by friends, you know, family that want to support you, that want to show you love, that want to uplift you, that want to work with you, you know, to help you get through this here. You know, these are people that are going to kind of like, say you're feeling, say you're feeling down and out and you're feeling sad. These are people that, that are going to keep you in that high vibration, that are going to keep you looking at the, the glasses half full instead of half empty. You know, being positive, being uplifted. These people are going to kind of help manifest like a good thing, but... Be careful of, um, I do feel like a lot of people are going to be checking in on you. You know, that watching sunglasses, watching, stalking, gaslighting energy. I feel like this is either family members watching, looking in, you know, kind of seeing how you're doing. But I also feel like there's some negative energies in there that may try to gaslight you into, you know, get get you started. Like, be, just be careful of who you open up to, okay? Make sure you're not getting the... The wrong type of support, Libra. Anything else with the let them go for uh, Libra? Let them go for Libra. What did I say? Stalker. Who child? Stalking, watching, obsessed, rejected, and a closer look nosy up in your business. Again, be careful who you're talking to, okay? There could be somebody stalking and watching you all up in your business, wondering what you got going on. This could be somebody that you're rejecting or that you're kind of like pushing out of your life here or just kind of, you know, pushing to the side. You don't want to deal with this person right now. Some of y'all, it's like y'all don't want to face the situation or somebody's not facing that something's actually over, that somebody is ready to let go of something because they feel like it's, a, you know, they're not getting what they need out of the connection here. If this is you, somebody may feel like you're kind of flipping out or you tripping or you like, you know, it's kind of like, oh, come on. It's not that serious, you know, type of energy. But I think it is. Yeah. Bad karma. Oh, child. Bad karma looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info and tripping on you. So this is like somebody, this could be somebody's karma. Because, some, for example, like say somebody was feeling like, oh, well, I'm not getting enough out of this relationship. I'm not getting what I need, right? So they started tripping on you, acting up and stuff like that. And you're like, okay, well, I'm going to leave. I'm going to open up to new options. I'm going to start dating. And like you actually do that. And then they're like, well, wait, you know, they're, th they're sitting here waiting and watching, thinking you're going to come back and you really not. Yeah, you actually running away from this because you're fed up. Running and fed up. Like you're, you're literally... Libra, I'm getting that you're done. And I think somebody thinks it's only illusion. I think it's like they they like, no, nah, they Libra's coming back. But Libra, I think you're done. Like I really think you're done. <laughs> I think you're letting them go for real. I think this person thinks you're playing. Spiritual hater hates on your spirituality, like magic and power. Again, be careful of 
same ish, just a different day. Girl fight. Somebody could have put you in a third party situation. Somebody could be very neglectful or negligent of your feelings or your emotions or a family. Um, somebody could be spreading lies about you. I just feel like you're unfazed. You're unfazed. You letting them kind of say and do what they want to. You're like, say what you need to. I don't care. You're not finna damage my spirit. I'm finna be uplifted. I'm finna be happy. The same is just a different day. I feel like you're doing this like every day. You're like, you know what? I'm going to focus on my happiness. I'm going to focus on, you know, being uplifted, being positive. Because whatever this was, you feel like it wasn't changing. You know what I'm saying? Your fight, arguments, physical fight, at war and competing. You felt like you always was competing or you felt like you was at war. Like maybe y'all were arguing. You might have felt like. The, it like things weren't getting better so that's that could be again be careful who you you know you talk to but the child services family issues and no facts never has the facts make ish up and lies somebody could be spreading lies about you being negligent or that you're irresponsible in some sort of way there could be drama going on with family somebody could be spreading lies about family and stuff like that maybe they're saying like oh well libra's not working with me collaborating with me or yeah but I feel like Libra, you are, honey, unfazed. You are unfazed. You're not where you're. You're uninter. Look, uninterested, moving, and bad karma. Some of y'all are moving out, moving out, moving away, distancing yourself. You're not interested in this person. You're not interested in fixing this, working on this. You're not interested in the lies, the the drama, the gossip. So this is somebody's bad karma. I don't know what this person did to you. What did this person do? What's that bad karma? Let's see if it'll tell me. What's the bad karma? They knew it was coming. This is foresight. For some of y'all, there was a third party situation. Others of y'all, six of cups. Yeah, others, for some of y'all, there was like some sort of third party situation. Somebody could have been competing with you or like, you know, somebody could have stabbed you in the back. There's also like bitterness and like, you know, some of y'all feel like this, some of y'all feel like y'all been beating, beating a dead horse. Like y'all feel like something's at a, at a dead end. Like a lot of y'all are gaining the confidence. The bad karma is that a lot of y'all are gaining the confidence to like end something, like walk away for good, like severing ties with it, saying goodbye, something about the nail in the coffin or like the final blow of something like it just. Somebody could have, some of y'all might might have felt like a doormat, like y'all were being walked on. Oh, child. Some of y'all are distancing yourself. You're moving. You want to be happy. You're ready to be free. I got the three of wands, the queen of wands, and the ten of swords. Some of y'all just feel like y'all may hit rock bottom with whatever this is. Like, it can't, like, you can't, you feel like you're hitting a wall with this. Like, it, there's nothing you can do. It's, I'm, it's literally like beating a dead horse. Like, it's like, dog, like, I admit defeat. I'm done. You know, you know, betray me. You know, some of y'all, there's a lot of bitch in here, bad mouth and bitterness. You feel like it's a failure. Good child. You just feel like it's a dead end. A lot of y'all are just gaining the confidence to, like, walk away. Like, finally say, okay, I'm done. And that takes a lot. Wow, the world card is here, too. Yeah closing of a cycle you're ready for new beginnings you're opening up to new opportunities you want to feel you want to feel like you belong somewhere you feel like this has ran its course like you this is a completion this is at it's at its end it's at its wit's end wow some of y'all may have children with this person whatever this is some of y'all could be getting a divorce seven of swords and justice i'm saying this is somebody's karma Somebody could have been lying, cheating, thieving here. And this is karmic justice playing out here. These are the consequences of something. Some sort of dangerous, risky behavior. Some sort of like fake, phony friend, you know. Uh, okay, Libra. Well, anything else I need to... Libra? <laughs> Libra said, I'm done, boo. All right, anything else for Libra, please, spirit? Anything else for Libra? Libra, surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. So Libra, although you're letting go of this or you're releasing this and you're moving on, you actually have the surprises. You have very supportive family members and friends and other people that want to uplift you around you. 
So even though this feels like, you know, it's not working out, it's done, it's over, there's love still surrounding you here, Libra. And you also have declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. And that could be what's coming in this weekend, Libra. This person here with this, this when you hit this three of wands, queen of wands, ten of swords, and the sun, I mean the world card, I feel like whatever this is here, where somebody either lashes out, says something, or like some sort of ego or jealousy or something, whatever, whatever this is, I feel like it's the final nail in the coffin for you. And I feel like that's it. And I see you moving towards people that want to uplift you, fix your crown, show you that they care about you, stuff like that. And I, I just I just feel like you're ready to declutter. You're ready to declutter. You're ready to let go. You're ready to move on. So I see you avoiding somebody, most definitely. But um, they still going to be watching you. <laughs> but this is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.